In this Excel tutorial, we will be explaining the IF formula used for analyzing data and showing how to create the formula step by step. First, create a new spreadsheet in Excel. In this example, we put together a performance report showing budgeted sales versus actual sales. Rather than calculating the monthly totals manually, we use the sum formula as shown for the cumulative totals. Here are the steps for the overview of a single argument if formula. Always start with equals if and a parenthesis. Then you have your logical test, your true value, and then if that's not true, the false value. Please keep in mind, never use any spaces when composing the formula. As stated earlier, always start the formula with equals if and a parenthesis. Use the comma after the logical test and then a comma after the true value. And you will always end the formula with an end parenthesis. If you want a word to display when writing the formula, use quotation marks before and after the word in the formula. If you want the formula to return a blank value, then use double quotation marks. The formula about to be shown will display if the actual sales were profitable or if there was a loss. Always start your formula with equals if and parentheses. Then start your logical test. Use the comma, your true test, and your false test. The formula typed in cell C9 reads as follows. If the actual quarterly total sales, which are in C8, are greater than the quarterly budget total sales, which is in cell B8, then return the word profit. Otherwise, if the sales are less, it will return the word loss. Here is another example of the IF formula if you want to return a numerical value rather than a word. The formula typed in cell C9 reads as follows. If actual quarterly total sales, which are in cell C8, are greater than the quarterly budget total, which is in cell B8, then return a numerical value of actual quarterly total sales minus the quarterly budget total. Otherwise, if the value is less, it will return the word loss. Here is an overview of a double argument if formula. Again, always start with equals if and a parenthesis. Type in your logical test, followed by a comma and your true value. Then for the second argument, type in if again, followed by a parenthesis, the logical test, followed by a comma and a value. If you have two ifs written, Always end your formula with double parentheses, and again, never use any spaces when composing the formula. Here is a synopsis of what was just talked about for the double argument if formula. Again, if you want a word to display, use quotation marks before and after the word, and if you want a blank value to return, use double quotation marks. The formula about to be shown is a double argument if formula.
The formula typed in cell C10 reads as follows. If actual quarterly total sales in cell C9 lists profit, then it returns a blank value. Otherwise, if actual quarterly total sales, which are in cell C9, list lost, then it returns a numerical negative dollar value by subtracting the actual quarterly total sales from cell C8 from quarterly budget total in cell B8. Here is a second example of the same formula previously shown, but using different values in the spreadsheet. Again, the formula typed in cell C10 reads as follows. If actual quarterly total sales in cell C9 lists profit, then the formula returns a blank value. Otherwise, if the actual quarterly total sales in cell C9 lists loss, then it's going to return a numerical negative dollar value by subtracting the actual quarterly total sales in cell C8 from quarterly budget total in cell B8. The next three examples will illustrate a multiple argument if formula based on three different Excel spreadsheet scenarios. First, let's determine the actual sales figures for each quarter. If this should happen, go ahead and hit enter for yes, and it will fix your formula. Now, rather than retyping the same formula over, you can copy and paste it into your next cell, and it will adjust to the appropriate cells for your calculations. In this way, I am using a shortcut of control C for copying, then moving over to my desired destination and hitting enter and it will adjust the, to the appropriate cells. Next, use a simple formula to tally the total cumulative sales. As you can see, we have a negative value. Finally, we will use a multiple if formula to return a statement regarding the cumulative total, as shown.
The formula typed in cell B14 is as follows. If the total sales in cell A14 are less than zero, then it will return a value did not meet projected budgeted sales. Otherwise, if the sales in cell A14 are greater than zero, the formula will return a value or a statement of exceeded projected budgeted sales. Otherwise, if the sales in cell A14 equals zero, the formula will return a value or statement of broke even. Here is another snapshot of how to read the formula and what the formula does that was just previously discussed. This is another example of the same formula, but with different figures used in the spreadsheet. As you can see, this time, this cumulative total sales are in the positive, so the formula returned the result of exceeded projected budgeted sales. This is a third example of the same formula, again with different figures used in the spreadsheet. Here, the cumulative sales equal zero, and therefore, the formula returned the result broke even. To summarize, always start your formula with equals if and parentheses. Use a comma after the logical test and a comma after the true argument, and then end your formula with an end parentheses. When working with double if formulas, always end your formula with two parentheses. If you have a triple argument if formula, your formula will end with three parentheses and so on. Visit us on the web at magicsystems.com for all your business needs.